Hi, my name is Helge Maus from Pixel Train. In this second tutorial about Pro XR inside of Adobe After Effects, I want to talk about the CryptoMat technology. If you followed my first tutorial about Pro XR, you have seen how to install this great free plugin for Adobe After Effects and how we use this plugin then to work more convenient with EXR files. In this tutorial, it's all about Cryptomat. And the first question is, what is Cryptomat and what it's used for? Cryptomat is a project which was started at PSYOP by Jonah Friedman and Andy Jones. And they had a production problem that we always have to define mats. So if you later want in your renderer to make compositing, you have to have selections, for example, objects, materials, and so on. And the normal process is that you define all these mats inside of your renderer. So you make your object IDs, material IDs, and so on. If you later find yourself in the situation that the mask is missing, you had to go back. Cryptomat solves this because Cryptomat generates an automatic mask system in the background. And with the help of a Cryptomat plugin, you can then, on the compositing stage, pull your masks how you need them. To generate CryptoMat, the renderer has to be able to generate CryptoMats. And you see here a whole list of renderers which are able to generate this. So in Houdini, for example, in RenderMan, in Redshift, and so on. But if you come from, for example, Cinema 4D, it's also possible to generate CryptoMats with the help of the Arnold renderer in the moment. And also, a little side note, if you are on Blender Cycles, you see that CryptoMat is now also implemented inside of Cycles. And the current version of Alpha 2 inside of Blender 2.8 is capable of generating CryptoMat, and so we can hope that we have in Cycles 4D in the near future also CryptoMat. So if you want to learn more how to generate CryptoMats, I have two tutorials for you. One tutorial is in Houdini. I showed here how to generate CryptoMat outputs inside of Houdini. This is an English version which also shows a little bit what CryptoMat is and how it thinks in the background. And I showed as a compositing package here Nuke and the Nuke plugin for CryptoMat. So if you want to dive a little bit deeper into CryptoMat, this is a good tutorial here on my Mimeo channel or YouTube channel. And there's another German tutorial. Sorry for the not German speaking guys. I have to apologize. This is an introduction of CryptoMat inside of Cinema 3D and Arnold 5, but I think you can follow how to set up Arnold 5 with CryptoMat also from the video. And so you see how CryptoMat is generated from Cinema 3D in the moment. On the other side, on the compositing side, you need decoders. And Jonah and Andy have implemented a plugin here for Nuke since version 7. There's also a plugin here for Fusion. So I showed this also in a tutorial on my Vimeo and YouTube channel. And Houdini itself in its compositing context is able to do that also in Blender. And now new we have here Adobe After Effects. If you have installed now this free plugin for Adobe After Effects, you can now start working with CryptoMats here. I have a rendering here from Houdini and I load it for you here first the beauty pass, this is the rendering I want to work with. And sometimes the cryptomats are encapsulated into the same file like the beauty. Sometimes they come in separate files. And in my case, I have it as a separate file. So I load now the EXR here. These are the cryptos.exr. And if I made a compositing out of this, you see absolutely nothing because they use special data inside of this container format and you can't see them by default. To make them visible, these datas, you have to add here now on this Cryptos layer an effect. And if you go here to the 3D channels, you have here now your Cryptomat. Like I've said, it's part of Pro XR 2.0. You have to first install this free plugin. And if you select this, suddenly you now see informations here. These informations are only helpful so that you can see what's going on. And the first thing you have to decide is from what you want to pull masks. Depending on the setup you had in your 3D program, I, for example, generated object and material masks 
you have to select the right layer and for this you have to click here in this area of the plugin and then you come into this dialog here and here you can see all the layers which are encoded inside of this EXR. I want for example first to start here with objects and if you have a selection you can copy and paste it here but <laughs> it's really cryptic so I only select the layer and I press OK and now you see here I can make it a little bit brighter for you here you can see now these are the objects colored for you and here you see I have trees and grass and here this brownish thing seems to be the ground so three objects if you want to now pull a mask from this you have to make sure that the cryptomat effect here is selected and then you can hover with your mouse over your viewport and you can click now on a pixel for example here this tree and the moment I do that you see that all the trees highlight so it's not like a magic wand it's really selecting the code which is behind this here you see the cryptic selection these are the object with trees and so you directly get a perfect mask for them the great thing in cryptomats is that they can work with half pixels so if you have for example anti-aliasing going on or you have motion blur or fog or things like that the selections are really really clean that's really great for working with that if you want to add something to this selection you can hold down the shift key on your keyboard you see the mouse cursor changes to a little plus and then you can click here for example to the grass if you want to remove something hold down the alt or option key you get a scissor icon and you can remove now something from the selection or you can click here again here is the selection tag and yeah you can remove unwanted selections and you can also store them here if you need for example this selection later in a more complex way okay now we have seen how to pull masks for the trees but this output here is still color so you can now change the output here to matte only and then you get a perfect matte for your trees and I name this for example matte underscore trees I make a duplicate of this layer and we look into this again I go to colors I delete now everything here and I switch now for example to the materials because I want to change a material in the moment I change the layer you see that we get another color code here because these are now the materials which I used for example a grass material a trunk material leaf material and so on and if I want now to make color corrections for example only for the trunks I can click here on a trunk pixel and you see this amazing mask going on inside of the trees and I also switch this to matte only this time we tell this is a matte for the trunk material okay I've seen how to make this now I use one of these two for example I want to use the trunk material I copy this over into my main comp and make it invisible and now you can use this for example I use here an adjustment layer and let's make a exposure for example onto this adjustment layer if I now change the exposure everything is now changed but what I want to do is I want to use this crypto layer here as a luma matte here for example this one here and now I can change the exposure only for the trunks you see how cool is that or you can now go in here make a new adjustment layer for color correction and I want for example to use the curves here and we need for example for this the leaves so let's make a new selection here I want to have a material I switch to the colors go here to the leaves for example that's nice and then change the name and make this to a mat copy paste
make it invisible, use it as a luma mat. And now we can go, for example, here to the greens and change only the leaves here without affecting something else. That's it. I hope you find this tutorial useful. If you have more questions, write me an email or comment under the video. My name is Helge Maus from Pixel Train. Have fun.